Hello there. Once again, this is Anton from Antonimo Bay. And a while back, somebody had talked about uh, Miss Tree comics in one of my one of the comment sections, and I was like, well, I I do have some of those, so let, let me take a look at them. Uh, I they've probably poked through in a few different uh, random comic haul videos that I've had, but I never really looked at all of them collectively. And I pulled out, I think, all of them I have. I have a little pile here. And what I really noticed, um, I haven't really given these a, a lot of a look. Uh, I noticed Max Collins, which I'm assuming, I'm wondering if that's Max Allen Collins. Uh, I know Max Allen Collins used to write uh, Dick Tracy novels and stuff like that in the oh, early, early 90s. And I enjoyed reading those. And I was like, well, I wonder if that's him. Probably is. Could be. Don't know. Um, mysteries, of course, uh, play on the word mystery. Just imagine Star Reach Classics. Uh, the other thing I noticed is this is an Eclipse Comics. And a lot they are published by a lot of different different publishers here, but I don't know if it's all the same series. So this is 1983. Um, yep, Max Allen Collins. Yep, same guy. Good mystery detective writer type character, so... I think that's cool and I know I've looked through the, these a little bit and it's definitely got the the Dick Tracy formula of uh, nine panels per page sometimes probably even 12 depending on how small they're doing them but you can tell just looking at it this has a very vintage comic feel just by the shape of the pages the panels and the art style it is quite gorgeous I'll give it that Frank Miller's Detective Pinup, Nancy Drew. Well, that's cool. Yeah, this looks like uh, Eisner stuff almost. It looks like you're getting a lot of shorter stories, which I think is pretty neat too. Now, I have to confess, I don't think I have actually read any of these. I did just get, uh, I think, a complete set of Aztec Ace uh, in the mail recently. So I'll be looking at that probably sometime in the future. Now see this one, that other one was 83. This is 85. And this is by Aardvark Anaheim and Renegade Press. So Aardvark Anaheim, they were the ones who published Cerebus the Aardvark. And even though this book is much later, it doesn't feel quite near as good a quality. The pages feel much thinner. The art's still good, of course. It's still black and white. What we got going on here? I mean, it looks good. It also has kind of a washed out, phasey, hazy type look. Modesty Blaze, I think I have a few few panels or a few books featuring her. Ugh, this hook for a hand guy is awful looking. Underground comics are not dead. Well, they are currently, pretty much. Time Beavers, huh. That's a different one. Let's see, and what year was this? What year was this? Uh, 85? Probably a little bit of Ninja Turtles thought going into that. Because I think Ninja Turtles was, what was that, 86? Uh, I can't remember now what exactly uh, Ninja Turtles started. I know the cartoon started in 87, so not positive. Um, I do remember this as I flipped through some of these earlier. Uh, this three-tone color, oh, I like that. Black, white, and red. Uh, I think some of the other ones I've read are black, white, and blue. That just looks amazing. I love that. Renegade Press, I do have a few from Renegade Press. Can't remember what all. What all's there? 
Like mist. Yeah, I like that. I like that better than regular full color paneling stuff. That just looks amazing. I, I love that. I wish more comics would, would utilize that. It's just a, a different look. Mystery 25. Like I said, I don't have a lot of these. See, there, there's the blue I was talking about. Black, white, and blue. I, th I, I think I like the red better, but you know what? That still looks amazing. That just looks amazing. Hm. Definitely not something that you see anymore. Or that I don't see. Shoot, I think these are some of the only comics I've ever come across that, that did this. If there's more out there and I don't know about them, let me know, though. I would be interested to, to see where these come from. Wouldn't be prison without killing somebody in the shower. The million dollar wound. Yeah, I remember Max Allen Collins just as a novelist. I didn't know he was much of a comic book guy, so that's kind of cool. And then these are all Renegade Press, and you're dealing with the black, white, and blue again, which just looks gorgeous. Um, and of course, their letter page is called SWAC, which <clears throat> that is weird. Ooh, Love and Rockets t-shirt. Let's get normal. Flaming Carrot mystery. Yeah, those would have been such cool shirts to own back in the day. We've been walking around and such. I mean, even the comic book geeks wouldn't have known who you were. They'd be like, what is that shirt mean? I am just all pawns. Um, I did, I, at one point I had a few issues of Red Fox from Harrier Comics. I'm pretty sure those are all gone. Um, I got rid of a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. I keep referencing this, uh, amount of comics I used to have. I, I had, a uh, hundred or more, probably 150 long boxes in my house. And now I am down to a mere 10 or nine and a half, I should say. And this issue, we're going with a black, white, and peach color, orangish color, I guess. Kind of weird. I, I don't think I'm in love with it, but I don't think I hate it either. It does just make people look kind of uncolored though, or like when you color the face, then it looks like you didn't color the rest of them. Something about this looks off. That doesn't look as bad, I guess, but yeah. Yeah, stick with your red and your blue. You could even probably go yellows and greens, but this this particular peachy orangish color ends up just looking, makes the comic look unfinished, I guess. <coughs> just kind of weird. There's the jam. Back to the light blue. So I think the best look it has. Hmm. Welcome to the party. Okay, that's a stark thing. It jumps from your black, white, and blue to your straight up black and white. And that is a harsh, harsh swamp there. 
especially on such a dark gray page. And that looks like the end. Aristocratic extraterrestrial time traveling themes, 1986. I think I had a, an issue or two of that. I think that was all they ever made. But anyway, those are my missed trees. Oh, missed trees. Anyway, I don't have a lot of them and I'm not very familiar with it. I just, I do know that anytime I see one in a bargain bin though, I am going to pick it up. That's just how I roll. Anyway, that is my story. Thank you guys for watching. Um, catch you later. Bye.